This small island city-state in Southeast Asia is one of the most modern environments you could find anywhere in the world. Yet, underneath this modernity you find a lot of tradition. The island's Chinese, Malay and Indian communities have not discarded its religious and ethnic traditions to achieve modernity. About 10% of Singapore's population are Indians and Serangoon Road here in the heart of Singapore is the cultural and commercial hub of the Singapore Indian community. Every year on the full moon day of the Tamil month of Thai, which falls in January or February, the Hindu Tamil community here celebrates Thaipism. This is basically a thanksgiving ceremony where Hindu devotees seek blessings, fulfilling vows and offering to Lord Subramanya, also popularly known as Lord Murugan, who represents virtue, youth and power to Hindus and is the destroyer of evil. Thaipusan is a Thanksgiving festival. Uh, it is a form of them, uh, Hindu showing a gratitude to an event that's been fulfilled in their life. For example, an individual would have uh, taken a vow to say, you know, he let him pass his exams. So once he gets his exams cleared, he will show his Thanksgiving by either carrying a cowardy or a milk pot. And it's not only restricted to the exam. Sometimes even if they want to have a good future life, they also do it as a form of Thanksgiving for all the good things they've uh, received in their life. So it's basically it's a Thanksgiving event. ceremony starts in the early hours of the morning when the first batch of devotees of Lord Murugan carrying milk pots and wooden cavities leave Sri Srinivasa Perumal Temple for the four kilometre walk to the Sri Thinda Yutapani Temple where the milk and other offerings are made to Lord Murugan. This garlanded wooden ark carried over one's shoulder is known as a cavity. They come in different sizes. Carrying a kavadi is a popular form of devotion for Hindus. It is usually carried in fulfillment of a vow that a devotee would have taken. Some devotees pierce their tongues with skewers and carry the kavadi across their shoulders throughout the four kilometer procession between the two temples. <laughs> The significance of carrying Kaudi is to fulfill their woes. Whatever they have wrote for or prayed for to God that they, they pray to, they take this opportunity to give their thanks to them. Okay. To, to carry this Kaudi, the most important thing is the milk itself. The milk is pure. So they use this thing to go and put to this God that they pray to to show their pureness in their hearts and in their way of movement.
the lit yellow that is cooked on the forehead is for concentration powers to tell the god that they are at their mind itself where in hinduism mind controls the whole body before one uh, takes part in this festival like Thai Pusam, they usually go through a fasting period. It could be anything from 48 days to two weeks. Okay? And when they do a fasting, they are on a strictly vegetarian uh, diet and they try and minimize all these uh, other things like drinking, sex and smoking and so on. Now, on the day of Thai Pusam, there are few variants. One of which is the simplest version which is a milk pot, whereby <coughs> they will carry a pot of milk over their head and walk the distance of four kilometers to the temple at uh, Tang Road, which is actually the significant temple, which is the uh, Lord Murugan's temple. Now, the more uh, sophisticated ones are the ones who carry the spike curry. That's the ones that you get skewers over their body. And uh, sometimes they get close to about 200 skewers on their body. And the, the cowardly they carry could weigh anything between 2 and 50 kilograms. So they'll carry this and walk a distance of 4 kilometers to show their thanks to Lord Murugan. So this is essentially what is done during the festivals when they take part in this festival. It is it's mind over matter because uh, their thoughts is always towards Lord Murugan and so most of the time they do not feel the pain and also the people who do the piercing they are all very experienced people so they know exactly how to go about doing the piercing so it's not someone in the street who comes and pierces so they are so skillful that most of the time you do not see any bleeding. One of the most common offerings in a Hindu temple is a coconut. The coconut is broken, symbolizing the breaking of the ego. The juice within, representing one's inner tendencies, is offered along with the white kernel, the mind, to the Lord. our feelings and love towards God so it's also a form of thanksgiving to show our gratitude so that is why we do it every year on this day yeah uh, and also it's faithfulness uh, and it's also not only that it's done for generations uh, it starts for my grandfather continued with my father and now it's me so it's it's also like a family tradition where we carry Kawadi for Taipusa uh, currently I'm working but I've started carrying Kawadi when I was studying Maybe at the age of 15. Well, the myth says that uh, Lord Muruga, whom we are caring for, he had a misunderstanding with Lord Shiva and he went to the mountain saying that he does he don't want anybody. So it's just a way to show him that uh, we love him and, and we want him to accept our offerings and to show this to show him that we want him, you know. So that's the reason why we so that's why I say that it's a day to express our feelings and love to him. Okay. 
இறைவன் காதரி பண்டியால் பாலனி It's more to endure this. We can endure the pain, and we don't mind uh, taking this pain when when God Himself has taken so much pain for us. Well, as for the pain, it's more in the mind. If you concentrate on the pain, definitely it's painful. Whereas if you concentrate on God, then the mind is not there to say that it's painful. That's what I believe. Uh, just think about God all the way. And, yeah, you gotta and, concentrate. And, and, and doing and doing this is something that is it should come something out of love. It's not where where somebody forces you to do it. It's supposed to come out of love. It's pure genuine love. That's what we believe. <laughs> Devotees undergo various levels of pain or suffering to fulfill their vows. This man's sandal with nails is worn by some as they walk in the four kilometer procession to the Lord Morgan Temple. Chanting, drumming and singing helps to divert devotees' minds away from pain towards paying homage to Lord Morgan. The Thai Pusum festival here is considered as a national festival and it attracts a lot of foreign tourists. This has been a major festival. We get a lot of tourists coming down to visit this event and we don't put any form of restriction. We do advise them to come properly dressed, that's about it. And also we ensure that they don't wear their shoes inside the temple. Even that we do not impose any form of restriction to the other races who come and witness this event.